Monday, May 27, 2024. Morning Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good morning, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AI-generated News Digest Daily and Tele Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, headlines of the day. Horford sets record with 7-3-S in win. Four girls injured in stabbing at Boston Movie Theater. Shiba Inu. Shibarium block count reaches 5 million. COVID-19 cases increasing in Los Angeles and statewide. Best and simple online games daily and much more. But first, this day in history. May 27th in history. May 27th, 1096. Count Amicho enters Mainz where his followers massacre Jewish citizens. At least 600 Jews are killed. May 27th, 1813. War of 1812. In Canada, American forces capture Fort George. Famous people born on this day. May 27th, 1944. Alain Souchon, French singer-songwriter, guitarist, and actor. Thea Musgrave. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Thea Musgrave, born on May 27, 1928, is a Scottish-American composer known for her operas and classical music. She has received numerous awards and honors for her contributions to the musical world. And now on to today's news. General News. Website offers free practical advice for caregivers of dementia patients. The Washington Post. A new website provides caregivers with a comprehensive approach to managing combativeness and other neuropsychiatric symptoms of dementia, offering guidance and support when the challenges become overwhelming. Four girls hurt during unprovoked stabbing attack in AMC movie theater near Boston. Suspect arrested. CBS Boston. A male suspect was arrested for stabbing four girls in a movie theater in Braintree, south of Boston, and possibly in a similar incident at a McDonald's in Plymouth. The suspect led police on a car chase and is believed to be linked to a murder investigation in Connecticut. Business News Here's what adding NVIDIA would mean for the 128-year-old Dow Industrial Average. CNBC NVIDIA announced a 10-for-1 stock split to lower its share price, potentially aiming for inclusion in the Dow Industrials. In this index, price-weighted averages mean higher-priced stocks have more influence despite percentage changes affecting the index's movements. Good news for Shiba Inu. Shibarium block count nears 5 million. AM Crypto News. The article discusses the current status of SHIB token on the L2 blockchain, noting a decrease in TVL in transactions. Shibarium's total blocks and network activity are analyzed, with a focus on Bone token's price increase compared to SHIB's stagnant value. Technology News The best daily and simple games on the Internet, The Verge. The article discusses the favorite mini-games shared by readers, including Coffee Golf, Bandle, Travely, Connections, and Framed. These quick and engaging games are perfect for passing the time and trying something new. Sports News Horford makes history with seven threes in Game 3 win versus Pacers. Yahoo Sports Al Horford played a crucial role in the Boston Celtics Game 3 victory over the Indiana Pacers hitting seven three-pointers and making history as the fourth center to do so in a playoff game and the oldest player to achieve this feat. The Celtics hold a 3-0 series lead. Today's obituaries. Stefan Bertalan, brief Wikipedia summary. Stefan Bertalan was a prominent Romanian handball player, coach and sports official. He won numerous national and international titles, including the EHF Champions League in 1977 and Olympic Silver in 1976. Bertalan passed away in 2024 at the age of 75. 
leaving behind a legacy of excellence in the sport. Surya Prakash, brief Wikipedia summary. Surya Prakash is an Indian film director known for movies like Manikam, Mai and Diwan. Georgie Campbell, a British event rider, tragically passed away at the age of 37 after a fall during the Bicton International Horse Trials in Devon. She had a successful equestrian career, competing in top-level events such as the Land Rover Burghley Horse Trials and being married to fellow rider Jesse Campbell. Samuel Lewis Galindo. Brief Wikipedia summary. Samuel Lewis Galindo, a Panamanian businessman, politician and author, was known for his contributions to the political, economic and social development of Panama. He served as a presidential candidate, founded the Solidaridad Party and was involved in various business associations and civic activities. Galindo passed away in 2024 at the age of 96. Health News COVID-19 infections on rise in Los Angeles and statewide. Deadline. The Los Angeles County Department of Public Health reports a slight increase in COVID-19 cases, with an average of 82 to 92 cases per day recently, compared to 60 to 80 cases per day earlier in the spring. Wastewater data shows rising coronavirus concentration statewide. COVID wave shapes up for summer but is unlikely to spark concern. The Washington Post. The article discusses how COVID-19 will likely still be present during the summer, but questions whether there will be enough public concern or federal intervention to address it as new variants emerge and transmission continues. Entertainment News. Richard Simmons, privately saving hundreds of lives, TMZ. Richard Simmons is connecting with fans by responding to emails and making personal calls to offer support to those struggling. He has received an overwhelming response to his messages and is considering expanding to video updates to continue spreading hope and positivity. Garfield in dead heat with Furiosa at weekend Memorial Day weekend box office. Sunday AM update deadline. Warner Brothers' Furiosa and Alcon Sony's The Garfield Movie are in a close race for the box office, aiming for around $31 million over four days. Garfield appears to have a slight edge, potentially leading to the lowest Memorial Day weekend, number one opening in 29 years. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. I'll tell you what often gets overlooked, garden fences. What do you call corn that joins the army, Colonel? Thank you for watching this AG and DD and Telly report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers. <laughs>